Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with a tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to properly clean your tools. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on link in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to show your support by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. If you take care of your tools, they'll take care of you. Keeping them clean will ensure they last for many years while functioning correctly and it also looks aesthetically pleasing. Here I'll be using a couple different cleaners. For any metal components, I would recommend using a solvent based cleaner as they're able to withstand the stronger chemicals. As for any plastic components, it's better off to use something that's a little less harsh as it can cause damage. Starting out with my plastic and rubber components. Unfortunately, solvent based cleaners are far too harsh. They can deteriorate, dry out, bleach the color, or damage the finish on the plastic or rubber parts. For this, I'll be using a multi purpose household cleaner called Spray 9. Spray it onto a clean cloth and then wipe away any dirt or grease. For those hard to reach areas, use a toothbrush. As you can see, it can be fairly hard to remove the older grease as it tends to embed itself on some of these components, depending on their durability. So it's always important to clean these parts up as soon as possible. Moving on to some of the metal components, apply some of the degreaser to a clean cloth and then wipe away any of the built up dirt or grease. For those hard to reach grooves and lettering, use a toothbrush with the degreaser applied. If you are cleaning sockets, also ensure the insides are clean as this can affect how they fit onto a fastener. For minor rusted tools, I would recommend using Neverdoll for removing those stains and light crusting. Tear off a small portion of the wadding and then work it into the surface. Unfortunately, you will not completely remove the rust as a layer of protection, which can be a chrome or some other form of plating has been already damaged. You can lessen it visually though. I don't recommend using a wire brush as this can damage more of the coating or plated surface. Thankfully with this example the ratchet and extension are free of any rust. If your tools are excessively rusted then I would recommend using a brass wire brush instead. It is important to protect your tools from any excessive amounts of moisture so they do not become rusty. Once the rust has been removed wipe on a layer of good quality penetrating oil. Also apply an oil to any of the moving components to ensure they are functioning correctly. Polish up those chrome parts. Use a chrome specific polish. Don't use any compounds or any other types of polish as this can jeopardize the chrome plating. Chrome plating is only a thin layer of coating and once damaged this will need to be recoated to allow for the same protection and finish as new. Use a clean soft cloth. Apply the chrome polish and then work it into the surface. Applying a polish will not only increase the shine but provide a light layer of protection. Only light scratches will be removed. Anything more extreme will remain. Once everything has been cleaned up, you should be left with something such as this. Be sure to stay up to date with my latest videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.